Is it okay if I go to the hen house and look for fresh eggs? Oh, sure. That's the best place to find them. But keep an eye on them chickens. Don't believe everything they tell you. Wow! Look at this! This is a hen house. I bet these hens are laying eggs. Can I have a yellow egg, please? Can I have a yellow egg, please? Sweet dramatic. This pushes the eggs into the tubes. Can I have an egg, please? Can I have a green egg, please? Can I have an orange egg, please? Lizards like to eat eggs. <laughs> that looks like fun. Can I have an egg, please? Can I have a yellow egg, please? the eggs to the colors in the carton. Can I have an egg, please? There's one. Can I have an orange egg, please? Can I have a yellow egg, please? Hot ziggity! Can I have an orange egg, please? Can I have an egg, please? Oh, can I have a purple egg, please? That was hard, but I did it. I'll leave these eggs in here for Torval. Yippee! There's another rubber band. I found four so far. I just need one more to make five. Shh. Hi, I'm Putt Putt. Please be quiet. Hi. I'm Putt-Putt. Welcome to...
to the library, Putt-Putt. I'm Miss Bundle Nugget, the head librarian. In my spare time, I sing opera. I've got something I'd like to ask you. But first, hey, Pep, why don't you go find your favorite book? Now we can talk. Quietly. Ms. Bundle Nugget, I'm throwing a big party for Pep's birthday tomorrow. Would you like to come? Definitely. Do you know there are bunnies in here? Yes, I'm afraid I do. They're messing up my nice straight stack of books. I don't know where they're coming from. The bunnies are one of the reasons my day isn't going so well. Maybe I can help. The problems all started when I lost my helmet. It's a beautiful Viking helmet with shiny horns. Can't you wear a different hat? Like that one over there? Heavens, no! I'm an opera singer. You can't sing opera without a Viking helmet, or it just seems silly. Oh! I want my hat. A missing hat and bunnies everywhere. I don't know where those bunnies are coming from, but I might be able to help. Is this the story you'd like me to read to you? Ah. Shh. Once there was a puppy who lived in a castle with the softest couch in the world. It even reclined. It had room for the puppy and his pet dragon, too. They lived happily ever after. The end. Ah. I'm glad that was a short story. I'm Reginald Windbag the Third, balloon vendor to the rich and famous. Or at least I will be someday if I ever sell any balloons. Nobody ever buys any of my balloons. I could use some nice big balloons tomorrow. For a P-A-R-T-Y. A what? It's hard to explain in front of you-know-who. I think that puppy wants to play with you, Pep. Off you go to play with your friend. I could use some nice big balloons tomorrow for a party. I'd really like to help you out, but I've got problems of my own. This happens every time. <gasps> Here, try to take this balloon. I think these balloons are defective. You need to tie something around the end. Oh, what should I tie to the balloons? Traditionally, string. Oh, gee whiz. I've never sold any balloons, so I don't have any money to buy string. If I get you some string, will you give me balloons for the party? Sure. It's been my lifelong dream to supply an entire party with balloons that don't blow away. Say, click on the spot you like to save your game in. Quick, 